Hey everybody, Preston Polter here from Pocket Jacks Comics. I promise I'm gonna get to some comics reviews. <laughs> Just what I thought I was out. This one's not comics yet, I promise. So this is, uh, but it's related. There is a tweet, supposedly, allegedly, from Alyssa Wong that is amazingly incendiary, and the the comics get kind of affiliated crowds are running with it, uh, including official bounding into comics, or bounding into comics, I should say. So. There's the tweet. Whoa, that's pretty incendiary stuff. I want you to I want you to pay attention to the date on this one. Uh, November 12th, 2018. Okay? And, um, oh my goodness, for somebody who uh, should be working in comics, making that tweet after Stan Lee is dead, just attacking him, as well as, you know, the, the person who is the editor... Wow, that seems like clearly somebody who doesn't want to get hired. Like, why would any rational person say such a thing? Almost like maybe she never did, right? Because I want you to think about it. Why would she say that? What motivation could she possibly have to say such a thing? I mean, look, this is the era of fake news, right? How do we create a fake news story? We build outrage. How do we build outrage? We take an unpopular figure we want to target... And then we have them say some outlandish incendiary thing, just like this. So this smells exactly like fake news, okay? So I went to Twitter. I searched her Twitter profile. There is no mention of Stanley in any tweets. Could be that it was erased. Now, I did find this, so I want to go ahead and, and focus on this. So we have this tweeter here who is apparently, like, saying, oh, no, this is her tweet. Uh, under currently, you know, the username Kaiser Leo. But if you pay attention to the entire thread, he is posting a response, allegedly, to this tweet is unavailable. And then if you climb down in the thread, like, today, cause in response to the story, people are like, oh, snap, it is true. But it couldn't have been from this, this couldn't have been the deleted tweet. Because this response here, which is about Stan Lee, and does appear to be dogpiling the whole Stan Lee thing is from November 29th, 2017. And by the way, folks, I got this right off of Twitter, okay? This didn't come from another source. I went to Twitter, and there it was. So you can't have a response from 2017 to a tweet that she allegedly made in 2018. So that story doesn't add up. Not to mention, wouldn't there have been other responses other than this one fella who clearly, by the way, is not a affiliate or, you know, is, is clearly not sympathetic to her cause, right? So this entire story smacks of fake news. There is absolutely no evidence that she said this outside of this alleged doctored tweet just kind of floating around. I, I, I'm sorry, fellas, if, if that's the best we got, this is just total fake news outrage clickbait. Uh, that's, that's what I'm filing it under unless I see something way more convincing. So there it is. Fake news. Uh, Alyssa Wong, as best I can tell, did not say these things. Relax. Try to be a little more skeptical. Next time you see a figure that people are hating on saying something just outrageous and incendiary in a written form like Twitter, just a little grain of salt. Okay, folks? So anyway, I promise I'm going to get the comic books review. I've been sent Florida, man. Can't wait to review that one. That's going to be great fun. Thank you very much for your time, everyone. This has been Preston Poulter with Pocket Dress Comics.